Well, I'm producing books again. And one of the big drawbacks and holdups was the process. I wanted everything to dovetail together. And now we're there. So the next book is Hustle. How to develop or how to increase your hustle. It's an audio book. It's a workbook. It's a guide book. I'm doing it as an audio book somewhat slash kind of course. And I will talk about things I cannot talk about on YouTube. It will be very edgy. Uh, the book is coming with a disclaimer. Matter of fact, I'll do that now. If you consume the contents of that book and you implement them, whatever happens to you is what happens to you. It will be risky. It will be edgy. It will be over the top. I'm going to give you some of my best uh, techniques and methodologies on things that I've used how I turned a marketing plan into automatic dating, how I turned the edge or, well, what I call the inner motherfucker. It's gonna be a real deep section on that because one of the things that's holding you back is what you believe in. And if you change what you believe in and you change how you govern yourself and act accordingly, your life will change. There are many people who are believing in false narratives, who are living their lives, chasing some kind of ghost and wondering why they're suffering and it's really interesting because the other day i was on facebook and i was noticing how many people were complaining how many people were like hey you know i've got surgery which is very serious and a lot of people were just going through it and i was like i don't really have anything to contribute not that i want anything to contribute but I feel that based upon I get to make a living off what comes out of my mind, I feel very, very good about that. And I don't feel lucky and I, I don't feel blessed because I work my ass off. And that's one of the things we're going to address. If you think that your success or good fortune is predicated on being blessed or some kind of luck or some good fortune or the stars and everything aligning, you're in for a world of hurt. I, I was listening to someone and I heard something that was really, really interesting because it's, when I did my video, I say fuck why well, I say fuck white supremacy and you should too. I got a lot of flack from black people about that video. And this is the thing. If you're black, if you're white, if you're woman, if you're Asian, if you're Mexican, and if you think that because someone doesn't like you based on your origin is holding you back, you ain't going to make it in this uh, marketplace, playboy. You have no shot in hell. I've said this for years. I'm just being really clear. I don't believe racism has anything to do with my success or lack of success. I believe my lack of success is I'm not prepared. I didn't approach the marketplace correctly. There's a whole bunch of reasons that I have not been successful. And racism is not even in the top 20. It's not even in the top 25. Shit, it ain't even in the top 50. Because when you go out and you perform and you execute, no one gives a fuck if you're a man. No one gives a fuck if you're a woman. No one gives a fuck if you're gay. And no one gives a fuck if you're Mexican. No, no one gives a damn. No one. Because... I think I told this story before and I'll tell it again. When I left the, my last job as a outside commercial office furniture salesperson, there was someone that was there who was extremely racist. And she's what I call benign racist, like, you know, um, a Paula Dean racist. She has all these jacked up things, but she doesn't get in her car and go beat up black folks. But nonetheless, she's still a racist and it's not good. Well, this racist, who's more than likely in 2016 still racist, when she found out that I had my own business, that I was out there making it rain, she sent me her resume. Now I want you to think about that. I want you to really think about that. She was racist, no doubt about it, but she was willing to submit to me and work for me because of a check. See, self-preservation, eating, having a place to live, Doing all this stuff, that seems to trump racism every day. So if you go out there and you use the principles of hustle 
and you start to implement and you start to execute, you will see results. Now with that, your results will vary. Will you start a YouTube channel and have a digital citizen lifestyle? I don't know. You might even do better. You, I hope you do better. But the point is, I'm going to give you the tools. I'm going to give you the format. I'm going to give you the blueprint to the big thing. And this just will not be no law of attraction, no secret, none of that bullshit. It's going to be a scientifically based, which is really funny. Once I did some research on it, it is scientifically based methodology on how to get your brain together and some action steps on things that you need to do. One of the questions that I always get is, what should I get into? Which are always risk bias questions. Well, if I get into this, or am I sure of the positive outcome? I don't fucking know. I don't know you. And that's the thing you got to get away from. Uh, today, I, I had a talk with Google. Um, I'm high enough in the food chain that I, get, I got my own rep now. And we're just talking about some stuff. And she said some really interesting things because as we we're going through my analytics and she was just saying, you know, it's like all your arrows are green, you know, and usually I just don't see this. And this is what she does all day long is talk to YouTubers. And she's like, well, you're doing this. And there was some recommendations, some things I need to do, which is create a channel and to actually create a, this video drops on this day. So I think at some point in the future, it's probably going to be videos every Tuesday, even though there might be more and pleasant conversation, learned a lot. Um, you know, got some inside scoop on some stuff I can't share with you. But the whole point is this channel started from nothing except ambition. There was no hookup. There was nobody to help me. I didn't know I made a lot of mistakes. And in terms in, in the making mistakes, I gained skills that can make me money. Let me say that again. In making mistakes, I gained skills that can make me money. So there's no such thing as wasting time. If you come out of the situation with a new skill, a new perspective, a new connection, you won. You won. You didn't win big. You didn't hit the jackpot, but you won. And if you keep winning every day, you will get that jackpot. So this is how it works with hustle. I am going to start tomorrow dropping the gems. I'm probably going to put the warning, the disclaimer, because the FTC is on this Internet, folks. And I'm going to put that video because I'm going to get into some very really dicey stuff. I mean, it's going to be right there on the edge of a lot of stuff and get real personal. Because if you thought the hustler's mindset pimping your mind for success was the bomb, you're going to love this book. It's going to probably take me the rest of the month to finish because one of the things that I'm doing because I have a new productivity system. I'm not just doing stuff to do stuff. Um, currently, I'm interviewing to hire a customer service rep. A lot of people are not fitting the bill, so that's going on. So I've had to downgrade some things in terms of what I could do and what I can do very effectively. So probably every other day, maybe every day, just depends. But at least three to four days a week, you're going to get content of the book. It's going to be super high audio and there's going to be perspectives. Now, there's the discussion board. So if I put something in there that you want to talk about, we could talk about it because there will be a discussion board in the audio book. So you can like, hey, I was thinking about this. I got a question about this. And hold on a second. Stop it. <laughs> Just like a kid. All right. And that's going to be the discussion board. Now, currently, the book is $25. And that's the pre-sale price because I'm probably going to set it up when it's done at 100 And why? Because if you implement and you use the stuff, and this isn't going to be like a 30-minute audio book or an hour. It's probably going to be maybe 10, 10 to 15, maybe 15, 20 hours, because I've got it all scripted out. But I don't know how long it's going to go, because when I get into a topic, I'm just going to go with it. Right. So I've allowed myself room, but definitely over 10 hours. So it's going to be a substantial audiobook. It's going to be a lot of conversations inside the course and you can participate. Now, for those of you who are Sandbox members, you pay $39.99 a month. You don't have to buy it you're going to get a link to it. Give us time. We're working on it. If you are at the $99 plan, you don't have to buy it. You're going to get it. So if you don't have any of those, you do have to buy it at $25. So if you spend $39.99 up to $2,500 bucks a month with me, you don't have to buy the book. We'll get you in the link. Give us time. We, like I said, we're shorthanded and we'll get you in there. 
But if you aren't in one of those membership based systems or membership, you know, if you're not a subscriber to one of those things, then yes, you have to buy it. And $25 is the pre-sale price. And it's going to get really crazy because I'm going to give examples. I'm going to give processes and there's a few, few, few surprises that's probably going to pop up in there. Just a few surprises. So go ahead, get in there, prepare to have your mind blown and uh, just go ahead and get in there. Oh, yes. 25 bucks. Just once. It's not a subscription. Just to put that out there and the links below. And I'm probably going to do something real snazzy with this, but as we get into it, so a lot of stuff that's going down this month. So with that, go below, spend your 25 bucks, get in now and get into the course and get into the engagement and learn this stuff. Cause like I said, it's going to be a little bit over the top. Just live, it, just live it, just live it. Nah, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be real crazy. Boom.